Welcome into the States for the first time. Philip the Punisher Collins! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys you guys are too kind. I mean, you should have kept it going a little bit longer, but hey, I ain't gonna fuss about it. It's my first time. Anyways, I know what you're thinking. Why is this handsome, sexy, God-looking guy doing comedy? And I got one thing to tell you. I'm depressed just like you motherfuckers. But I decided, you know what? I'm gonna take that depression... And make some comedy going out of it. And, you know, hopefully you guys feel what I'm putting out there. Anyways. As, you know, some some, some other person, not me, obviously, announced. I'm Philip the Punisher Collins. You know, just in case you can't tell. You know, I'm rocking my Punisher gear today for my first video. Anyways. I started doing movie reviews because I needed something in my life that I was alright at. Okay? But somewhere in between there I, I, I noticed, you know, I did this to make myself feel better and not that it doesn't make me feel better but I'm not getting anything off my chest. And that's kind of why I kind of started this. Anyway, so I started thinking, you know, maybe I should do some comedy. You know, kind of loosen the mood. Maybe people would Find my comedy first before I do reviews or whatever, whatever you guys are into, you know, you freaky bastards. Anyways, so I was, I was thinking, what's gonna be my first joke, or or first life story that I'm gonna turn into a joke? And I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I found the joke. Well, story. Pretty much these are all the stories that I'm just telling you that happened in my life or things that I've seen or whatnot. Anyways. I was working at this store. It was a donut store. I ain't gonna tell you where, but if a girl let's just cut the bullshit from the beginning. If the girl has good tits or big tits I mean she got small good tits. But good big tits, uh breasts, melons Whatever the fuck you want to call girls' boobs. They can have this. And you, then if, uh, if you figure out what I'm talking about, you know what donut store, store I, I worked at. Anyways, I worked there for almost three years. And I've seen a lot of shit come and go. I saw uh, some managers go. I've seen some... some people hooked up. I've seen some people smoke some weed there. You know... All and some people tell me some fucked up stories, and that's where I got my first story that I'm gonna tell you guys. It was my first job out of high school. I had a job in high school. I was a bellman, and I'll tell you stories about that another time. But this one is at this donut shop, and I had a lot of friends there. I had a lot of people who didn't like me. Probably didn't ha help the fact that at the time my brother-in-law and my sister was. Pretty much the uh, general managers at the store. But that's not where this story takes place. This story takes place after they were gone. And at this time, I'm going to say... Some people I'm going to keep in dark are the name just in case they try to say some shit. But there's one person I know who, ain't, who would never find this video. So I'm going to say her fucking name. And she was the fucking devil. And if you know who she is... You know what I'm talking about. Her name was Esther. And yes, she was just as nasty as her name puts out there. Anyways. There's this guy that they hired. I was working the overnight bake. I was making all the product. I was making the muffins, the croissants, the donuts, the bagel twists, the bagels, um, apple fritters, whatever. I was, I was the person doing all that. I won't say I was good at it, but I was fast at it. And that's what mattered at this point. Now, quick story. This place was the only place I ever got fired from. And I'll tell you a quick story about that right now. So, at the time, 
they couldn't keep a baker longer than three months, pretty much. Because it, I was getting paid eight fifty an hour. I found out these two old people before me was getting paid ten dollars. First of all, that's fucked up. Anyways, they fired me, and this is not the story. This is just a side story, so you know what happened to me at the at this place. They fired me because this Essa girl didn't didn't like me for for whatever reason. So to get back at her, I started hitting on her daughter. Whatever. But anyways, even though that wasn't right, that's not the story. Like I said, they fired me because this lady, the usual bakes on a Friday going to Saturday was like a hundred dozen. That's a lot of fucking donuts, plus all the other stuff you gotta do. She raised up to 130 dozen. Guess what? We were throwing away like 38 dozen a week. So, or 38 dozen the next day, I mean. Anyways. So, they hired this guy. I won't tell you what his name is. But, I don't have him as a Facebook friend, so he doesn't know, know me. But, I, I didn't even know what the guy's name was anymore. Only reason I found out was because of his sister. Anyways, there was this guy, and like I said, he was there for two or three months, something like that, and he was kind of a dick. I'm surprised he even made it as far as he did. Well, he had a very big issue with customers, because this Dunkin' Donuts was open 24 hours. And you would get slammed by that because you were one of the only places open when people was working their shift for lunch. So one day, they called me in because he was going too slow and they needed me to help him go faster. Whatever. I'll, I'll do it. More money for me. I mean, it is what it is. Well, we're sitting out because we got to where we need to be. And we went to go have a cigarette break. We're smoking a cigarette. Everything is all right. We're, you know, we're talking. And we get this beep. Okay? And obviously he's a customer. And he's like, I fucking hate customers. I'm like, hey, you know, I got some some of the ones that I like. You know, it is what it is. People have the people that they like. People, And then some people just don't like people. I mean, what can I say? Now, before I go any further... Let me tell you, this is a hundred percent true story. Did it was it me before you ask? And it's only I've told only a, a few people this story because I still couldn't believe it. I mean, before I go any further, I never saw him do it, but this is what he told me, and maybe he he was just trying to gross me out. I don't know. They said, and I quote, if a customer pissed me off because they ordered a whole bunch of food, now this part I'm a little ad libbing right now, a whole bunch of food or whatever, pretty much if they were an annoying customer, he carried around, carried around a used condom. Not used like you took it out of the wrapper and just put it in your pocket. I'm not talking that use. It was ejaculated into. And, um, first of all, I was like, what the fuck? Like, why are you carrying around a used condom? Like, isn't that going to, like, smash in your pocket? And now you got baby jizz in your pocket. Like, to me, that was just creepy. Anyways... He goes and tells me if a customer pisses him off, what he would do, I know what you're thinking, and yes, he would put it on their food. Yes, yes, I know, it's fucked up. Well, the certain night, a couple weeks later, well, first of all, I didn't say anything because I'm like, I'm just trying to go, go to work and come home. I ain't going to get no food by him. That's the only thing that went through my mind. Sorry, motherfuckers. But hopefully you just didn't piss off this guy for the night. Well. About a couple of weeks later. Maybe three weeks. Somewhere in between that time. So I don't know how long he lit, he worked after that. 
he told me, or he didn't tell me. Well, he told me, but not in the way like he physically told me. Like he texted me. I'll say it like that. He knew he was getting fired. Because this certain night he was getting slammed by the people across the street. Okay? You keeping up? Okay, good. He told me one of the uh, customers that night, one too many, I guess, they beep. He goes, What the hell do you want? And I got told the story the next night because I don't know. I guess they suspended him. I got called in. That's how I found out. It's pretty much he texted me like, hey, just so you know, probably not going to be working there anymore. They're probably going to call you in tonight. So I was already prepared. I was pissed off, but I was prepared. He told me the used car that he brought that day, he fucking put, put, okay, first of all, let me set the, set this up. The glazed batter machine is fucking huge. Okay, it can it, it it can hold about like three four buckets, and um, so what he did is put his whole used condom in the glaze bucket or the glaze batch thing where you scoop it up, put it over your glaze donut, chocolate glaze, whatever. Luckily. At this point in my time, I've been working here for two years and something, some change, okay? I've been making the donuts this for o at least over a year altogether, probably a year and a half. So, luckily, I was tired of donuts. But if I wasn't, I would never eat another glazed or any other kind of donut after that incident. And... Is why I don't eat donuts still pretty much to this day. When people offer me donuts, I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. And I don't want to tell them that story because I ain't trying to ruin their story. Or their their love of donuts. But here's the only thing with that. If one person has done it, can you imagine how many other people have done that? I mean, it's fucked up. So, moral of the story is... If you can figure out where I worked, don't go there. Moral of the story. Anyways, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this. And uh, tune in for the next one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you guys didn't need to, need to be laughing like that. I appreciate it. Anyways. Tune, stay tuned for either my next review or my next comedy special. I don't know what I'm going to do first. Anyways, everybody, stay classy.